Hi guys, today we're focusing on basics of encryption. And in this tutorial, we're going to create a basic um, encryption algorithm, apply it to a string and also to a file. And then we are going to create an inverse of our algorithm and apply decryption on those string and file. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a, uh, we're going to create an interface called crypto. It's going to have two methods, encrypt. And decrypt. I've chosen an array of bytes because um, it's very easy to convert almost any data. Well, not easy, but it is possible to convert almost any data type to an array of bytes. And so it allows us to encrypt both strings, files, anything that we want. Basic crypto is going to be the implementation of our. Crypto. Currently, I'm just going to return the original data and not worry about anything else. Here's our data. Um, hello world. Here is encrypted data, which is going to be a new string. And we're going to use our crypto to encrypt the data, which is bytes. And then do the opposite. Original. Which is going to be printed as hello world. Then encrypted. and decrypted. So this should give us all three messages which are going to be identical. Yep, we can see that hello world is printed three times. So what we're going to do now is come up with a simple algorithm and it is going to be really simple and going to create an array of the same length <clears throat> and for each um, value in the array, in the original array, I'm going to check if the value is at an even index. If it is, I'm going to add one to the value. If it's an, at an odd index, I'm going to subtract one. So um, even, then data i plus one, else data i minus one. Oh yeah, that will give us an end because Java converts everything into an end when it does um, operations on bytes, I believe. So we'll just need to convert to byte to typecast it to a byte and get this. I'm going to do the opposite, which is essentially almost exactly the same thing, but instead of adding and subtracting one, we're going to subtract and add one. So if this um, was a mathematical function, it would be f of x equals to y, and it's inverse, which gives us f minus one, or um, if it was a new function, then it's g of y, which gives us back the x, which is the original data that we wanted to have. And as long as you can come up with a function that has an inverse, then you're good to go. And obviously you can make it as sophisticated as you like. Uh, maybe add things like passwords in here, so a new parameter. But that should give us a decent, well, not decent, but very primitive encryption. So we can see the hello world, uh, the original. This is the encrypted version. And we have our decrypted version, which matches the original, which is good. Right, so I'm going to do, um, what I'm going to do now is create a text file. 
and do exactly the same thing, but instead of a string on an actual text file. Let's call it data one txt. Hello. That's what we're going to ha um, have in the file. I'm going to read that file into um, data. Files read all bytes. Because I have so many things in there, um, there is a weird directory structure. So I have to use this kind of absolute path to get to this data one txt file. Um, you should be able to just do pass get and the name of the file data one txt. Right, so what is it saying? Oh, the exception. We don't care about exceptions for now. Data two is going to be, um, what is it going to be? Crypto encrypt data one. Data three crypto decrypt. Data two. And we'll just need to write these to a file then. Right. That data two. Data three. So ideally, if this works, then we get back three files. One's the original one, which I've loaded, that one. This one is that thing, which is um, the result of our encryption. And we have our final file, which is data three, which is exactly the same as the original one, which is what we wanted to achieve. And this should work with binary files as well, uh, as long as we haven't messed up the conversion from mint to a byte. And yeah, so if this thing works, then everything should be okay. And yeah, you can um, add your own encryption algorithm in there if you want to. If you're into real encryption algorithms, then search um, advanced encryption standard Java. It shouldn't be too difficult to implement that. And the mechanism is exactly the same. You take an array of bytes, do something on it, you return an array of bytes, which is an encrypted version. And then do um, the same thing in the opposite way for decryption. And I think we've covered all well, the basics, I suppose. And this note, I'd like to finish the tutorial. Thanks for watching.